Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do, um, it's gonna be a reading for past, present, future energy, okay? So it'll be for everybody. You know, if you don't know what happened in the past, if you don't know what's happening currently, and definitely if you wanna know what's happening in the future, uh, this is a reading for you, all right? So those of you who don't wanna know about the past, okay, skip through, right? You know, anyhow, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the past energy is for my Aquarius. What's the past? In, okay, the Nine of Wands. All right, so you could have been in a relationship that um, someone just didn't want to commit, it, either you, Aquarius, or the other person. Either they couldn't commit, they didn't want to commit, when things got a little too intimate, they walked away from the connection, they put distance between the two of you, they put other things, other people in the relationship. Um, they just didn't show up in, in a good capacity, all right? Let's see what's going on in the past for the Aquarius. What's going on in the past for the Aquarius. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay, so there was always a lot of um, stop and start to this connection, but no progression. Um, and how you guys would start up again was maybe like a sexual connection. You know, you come together, you have sex, and I guess we're back together. It's, that's how the relationship went. This person also, you or the other person, could be a fire sign. It could be any sign, right? This person went between you and somebody else. You know, it was, it was you. I'm sorry, I'm checking the volume. Okay. They, they may have had you and another option. If not another option, like a stable person, another other, another person that they would go between. Um, they went between being in a relationship with you or being in this kind of fantasy, false relationship to now they go back to being single. You know, going back to dating and hanging out and meeting new people. So it's like they, you know, um, they were always one foot in, one foot out. You know, they were exploring in other places. Uh, there was always question if this person was cheating or not. Uh, maybe even with you also. You guys could have traveled together or this person does some type of travel for work, okay? Um, they get around also, you know. Uh, they're in different places, different, um, maybe even different countries, but they get around a lot to where maybe they know a lot of people, a lot of people know them. They kind of found stability with going in between you and another lifestyle or you and another person. It seems as if you always thought like when you guys will come back together, it was going, you guys were going to stay together. It was going to really progress, but there was a lack of progression. It was just always a, a new start. Yeah. The queen of pentacles. This person knew your worth, all right? Uh, they were just hoping that you wouldn't come into your worth or really come into knowing your worth. Uh, it's almost as they knew that you were settling for them or there was like a settling type of energy or there was always making concession for, uh, conceding to whatever is happening. You know, um, maybe the Aquarius would always, or the other person would always um, make excuse or concession or, um, kind of brush things under, you know, sweep things under the rug here. Also, this person could have had a wife or a stable individual in their life um, that maybe they were obligated to, or they felt like they had obligation to, even maybe, maybe even children with. Uh, let's see what's going on presently for my Aquarius. Very nice, the Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like presently you have walked into an energy of um, long-term goal fulfillment, uh, your destiny. Uh, this is where you're supposed to be with the Ten of Pentacles here. You come into that energy of uh, really going after what it is you desire, um, your empire, creating your empire. Some of you could uh, be staying home a lot, uh, investing. Um, yeah. So presently, um, you're really coming into an energy of like a treasure, a treasure uh, chest where you are really unlocking all of those, uh, the, the gifts that were imparted to you, possibly at birth, you know? 
some really good energy to be in. I'm sorry, I had to check something. Presently for the Aquarius. Some of you also could be dating somebody um, that has the potential for you guys to come together and be like a power couple or you will be marrying into money. Yeah, the high priestess, some of you are you're really coming into your psychic gifts, intuition, understanding yourself, understanding those uh, talents, those hidden or repressed talents. Um, you have time now to actually explore those, to put more time, energy behind it, maybe even get under some mentorship in terms of um, really fostering your gifts. And these are like intuitive, psychic, um, emotional gifts here. You could be an empath or something of the nature where you get downloads from the spiritual realm. So presently, it looks like um, you're at a place of really developing yourself in terms of your intuition, psychic uh, abilities. Also, you're okay being by yourself with the high priestess. It's almost as, as if you're readying yourself for a commitment, a relationship. This is the gestation uh, period. Uh, it could be with a past person. It could be with a new person. But right now, it looks like you put all your energy effort into you, into um, uh, deciding to to uh, put all your eggs in your own basket. You aren't giving out anything right now. Um, you're very mysterious. Uh, you're really embarking on your wisdom. Wow. As I say that this flew onto the floor, the empress, that's... You know, that's a secession. That's um, in order. Two and then three. Um, the high priestess. Uh, 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 yeah, the high priestess and then the empress. It's like you're getting downloads from the universe in order to, in, uh, about what it is you need to do. Maybe even about business matters or starting business or money matters or walking into some long-term goal fulfillment. Uh, increasing your knowledge, your reputation, getting under some mentorship. Therefore, you can uh, present something to the world because she's the earth mother. The divine feminine, you kind of like jumped into your divine feminine energy. Therefore, you can present something to the world. You can start something new. Some of you could be pregnant or you could want to get pregnant here. Some of you want to start a family. This reads as presently what you want to do is start a family. Um, it, it looks like it's starting spiritually and then it will come into the earthly plane. So, um, I don't know, it's like you're readying yourself for partnership or a really divine connection here. Um, let's see what the future holds. This is really good. With the Empress there, you could be starting a business. You're getting a lot of eyes on you. You're really uh, focused on beauty, fashion, abundance. Uh, opening your heart chakra, creating opportunity for yourself, taking advantage of those opportunities also. Uh, you're just very giving. You have a lot to give right now. Uh, maybe because you, you've come out of some stuff stagnant, maybe even uh, karmic energy here with the nine of wands and then the two of wands. Yeah, let's see what the future, well, give one more card for the present. All right. Presently, presently with energy. The Page of Swords is uh, what we have presently. P presently, you're learning, increasing your knowledge and your awareness. You're coming up with new ideas of how to um, bring in income also. There's a lot of curiosity about um, spirituality also because you're getting a lot of psychic downloads and intuition uh, you just feel you know something is coming into you you could also be uh, looking at tarot card readings getting tarot card readings just inquiring about all this energy that you feel pent up within you about you all right let's see what the future holds for my aquarius what's going on for future energy wow the queen of wands definitely um dynamic this could also be, so the queens are the, the doers or the creators of the tarot. So um, you could actually be creating something, starting something, entrepreneurship, a new job, a promotion, uh, putting yourself out there, dressing up more, getting out there, 
uh, more eyes on it, on you. Um, seducing, uh, sultry, seductive, drawing in to you the energy that you want. Okay, that you want to come into your life. All right. Let's see. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely, you are at a place of stability hard work, dedication, paying off. You have a guardian angel around you, about you, protecting you also. Um, somebody is stubborn, solid, stable. It may be that the work that you're doing right now could become a little mundane, boring, but it's definitely going to pay off because the Knight of Pentacles talks about profit, okay? It talks about profit gain. Um, you, you commit it to something, whether it's to yourself and developing you on all facets, on all levels, all areas, or you're just really committed to um, maybe your work also. You've taken on some new commitment here in, in the future. Also, some of you could be getting into an, uh, a committed relationship. Wow. The Knight of Cups, too. All right, so two nights together like this sometimes can speak of past energy for some of you I know you don't want to deal with anybody from the past um, if you don't then exit out you know exit out of the reading or or X it out X this person out you know do the banishing rituals the cord cutting ceremonies do what you need to do to make sure this person can't come back uh, to your life um, penetrate your energy um, Definitely, some of you could be getting into like a more committed relationship, allowing yourself to fall in love because it looks like your heart chakra is open now in the present. You're doing the work in order to see some realization in uh, the real world, the 3D. Um, you want to see your manifestation come true, and it looks like it will be. Uh, it could come true in the, ter in, in the form of a person, uh, a project that you have uh, thrown yourself into. It's like somebody's going to try to come in and sweep you off your feet. Um, or a knight in shining armor. Uh, Gentleman-like energy. Lady-like energy. Uh, you can't help but fall for this person. But uh, do know that this person has been through a lot. They still have their armor on. They're still at a, you know, in that conquest mode. Um, you're showing up in your queen. High priestess, empress type energy. And they are showing up as knights. Um... Let's see what this is about. It could also just be you embarking on some creative endeavor here. Um, putting a lot of energy behind um, making something happen, bringing something to fruition. Um, be realistic in your approach to love too, because some of you can be going out of your way in the near future to find love. And once you find it, you see one flaw, two flaws in the person you're no longer interested. So you go from going out of your way to be in love, to find love, to a heartbreaker because you didn't leave in the situation. So take a realistic approach to this connection, to every connection, all right? Um, let's see. What is the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in the near future? Okay. Wow, the Sun card. This card specifically talks about a new person entering your life, bringing you a lot of happiness and contentment. Wow, Aquarius, in the future, you can have someone new coming into your life. We're going to talk about this new energy because it looks phenomenal. We're going to talk about it in the extended. Who is this person? What do they have to offer? Is this a past person? Should you trust this individual? Um, the sun card is here saying that positivity, radiance, light, playfulness, open heart uh, is here for you in this person, with this person, and for, you, and for yourself. Um, Aquarius, this looks like a really, really good reading. I don't think you got any really tough cards. Um, some of you are at a place of just moving away from energy that um, is hard, that is straining, that is stressful. Um, if it is such, you don't want any part of it. And it looks like the universe is moving with you. Uh, let's see what, who this new person is in the extended. I'll give me a preview to who this person is. What's this new energy, new person? Who is this new person? This new person. Okay. This new person. Oh, 
All right. Okay, Aquarius, it just got interesting about who this new person is. Um, we could say that this is, a, you know, the perfect union, says the lovers. Uh, a connection where you were destined to meet. It was destiny. The, the destiny is in the meeting. As you see, the angel brings the two people together. Now, what you do when you come together is that's free will that's we jump from destiny to free will you can do whatever you know that's how the world is set up so we're going to talk about who this new person is and what they have to offer should you trust it or trust them uh what the advice is for the aquarius all right meet me over in the extended um if you want to know about this new person very good reading aquarius all links are below thank you many blessings to you